thought I'd share something with y'all that uh, I learned here recently, and hopefully it'll save you some time and money if you run into the same situation I found myself in. Uh, I picked up an old Miller arc welder, and, which was working fine when I picked it up. Well, on the way back home, it fell over in the back of my truck. When I got it out, it was working. I mean, it was as it should, except for the fan. The, the fan wasn't working. I took the fan out, um, took it apart and found out the leads going into the winding on this transformer were bad, old, corroded, broken. I mean, it, it it's it's in really, really bad shape. And I, I, mean, I, I tried to uh, remedy the situation by soldering the wires back in, but it, it was no good. So I so said, I'll give uh, Miller a call and see if I can still get one of these. And certainly they had them. And, it was, uh, I think, a little over $100 for this little fan. And I said, let me uh, let me think about it, because I didn't pay that much more for that fan for a welder. Well, th this is a 200 and, I guess, 230, 240 volt fan. It comes in through the this transformer and then steps it down and runs this motor that, that cools the, the welder. Uh, so... I said, let me look at a muffin fan. And they have, you know, the things that'll cool machinery, computers, and, and all. Well, I got to looking into it, and that's what I found. I've got a 240 volt muffin fan that I've replaced this old worn out one that I could have paid $100 plus shipping, you know, plus, plus, plus. All I did, those are the, the leads that went to the motor. I cut them off and they come straight from the switch up here down. Nothing special. Cut them, put me some new ends on them, drilled me three holes in the bottom of this thing. Got me some uh, uh, spacers to put in here. I think these are about an inch and uh, mounted the fan in and turn it on. Just like it should. The good news, this cost me $15. So I could, I could, that, that was not a problem right there, but to spend hundred dollars on a welder that you had paid just a little over hundred dollars for just didn't didn't seem to make a lot of sense. So anyway, you find yourself in the same situation. They do have these out there, and this is uh, a 240 volt muffin fan, and it'll take care of you just like that hundred dollar one.